Hey, Tony from Hurricane Wind Power here. Um, just going to shoot a video today and show you a new product. This is our 12 volt uh, LiPo 4 battery. It's made with prismatic cells. Uh, we've been messing around and putting some of this stuff together. And, uh, you know, if it works out good, awesome. If not, we're outside. We won't burn the building down. Um, that's always positive. So, you know, we have a little bit more testing to do, but I anticipate this product will be available. You know, you might see, uh, you know, the advantages of this thing. Five, it's a, it's 5,000 cycles. You know, you can and you can discharge this thing really up to 100%. We recommend don't go on, you know, much past 80. Um, but I mean, you can take this inverter on down. Now, we uh, talked about volts times amps equals watts. So the reason I pulled this outside is I know that we've got, we're pulling about 1300 watts on this. And I know on the amps, we're gonna be about to the capacity of where the BMS, you don't wanna exceed uh, 100 amps for a long time. And, you know, I, got, I watched a Netflix thing where a lithium battery, went up you know and it's a lot of energy discharging at one time so we're treating these things with a lot of respect right now um that being said this lipo 4 chemistry you see in a lot of the batteries on the market that's what it is it's it's safe it's not something that i have a ton of experience with and you know at hurricane we want to make sure that we have everything right fully tested before it hits the market so we're going to throw this thing with a load you know and exceed what the battery monitoring system does you know for just a little bit and see how it runs this 1300 watt load on this heat gun and uh we'll put it on youtube either way if it ends up good awesome if not uh you'll get a real good we might go viral okay if we catch something on fire here so we got the fire extinguisher i hope we don't injure any ames inverters here but here we go we're going to fire this thing on up. Go ahead and see what we got in the way of heat. Not really anything. We're going to go ahead and pause this and grab the voltmeter. So we can see how stout this thing is and uh, get a reading to show you guys with this thing running and see check out the depth of discharge on this battery over the over this so we're we we started we started this thing we really weren't fully charged when we started uh, but we're at 12.65 on here you want to bring it around and show everybody and we're going to put a hell of a load on this thing and see what it does. So I'm firing this thing up. We got a hell of a load on this thing. Now one battery here. We're running about 1300 watts off of it. You don't really have to worry about the depth of discharge on this thing, which is really cool. You see, this thing wasn't fully charged to begin with. So now we're pulling uh, in the tenths of a volt down under a really heavy load with one battery. No heat to be said on this thing. I'm going to get it good fully charged and we'll do a load test on this thing. Um, That heat gun's over here raising hell. I can smell it burning. <laughs> I just want to get this out and show you guys today. Uh, we're going to have a lithium phosphate or a LiPo4 battery out 
here in the next week or so, we're going to go ahead and put it up for sale. You know, we're exceeding the battery monitoring system. I've ran this thing before, and it's just kind of been something I've tested intermittently. We're going to make sure that it's doing everything it's supposed to before we put it out on the market. Is the fan on the inverter kicked on you? The Ames inverter's been doing a good job today. A lot of energy density in these prismatic cells on this LiPo 4 battery. So I've turned the load off on this thing. I haven't charged it. So one thing that's really cool about the lithium phosphate chemistry is the recovery rate. We had pulled that thing down to 12.65. We took the load off of it and the open voltage uh, is recovered up over 12. So I'm going to get a full charge on this thing tonight and come come at you guys uh, you know, in a few days and do an extended run test. But um you know the price point on these batteries i don't think that for the money and the energy density you know this is our entry into the lithium market i don't think that you're going to find a product um you know for the price point that we have on this thing and you know it, i'm i'm getting more comfortable with the lithium batteries it's just you know a thing for me that i've been been afraid of for a while you know they've got the technology along to where you know we're going to start putting some of these in our installs and um you know the price is really coming down so we're happy to offer this to you guys now and you know if you're interested shoot me an email give me a call and we'll talk about it um you know it is what it is we don't over over sell it but i mean i'm really impressed with the test today just running this thing because we're pulling um we're pulling over 100 amps we're pulling 100 over we're right at or more 100 amps on this on this thing and uh it didn't even get warm so we'll give you guys a few more tests and you know if you're looking for a lithium phosphate battery look us up at hurricane we'll be in the market here in the next couple of weeks